Hey guys, welcome back. We are at the deadline in year number six. So we are attempting to make our biggest push into uh, you know a championship here with our Sabres. Right now we're first in the division. And again, this whole series has been based upon the fact that we cannot get away from the Lightning and Leafs. We need to win the division to give ourselves the best possible chance early on in the playoffs as every single season we have only played the Lightning and Maple Leafs the last four seasons. So, um, you know, it just kind of needs to happen. As we're in year six right now. And, uh, yeah, we need to uh, we need to get past this. So we're at the deadline right now. I'll take you guys through the lines. As we've got Tristan Holmes, who we did sign to an RFA deal with Eichel and Pasternak. And he's having a very good year, except for his plus minus. And we have Dylan Gunther, who was drafted in the same year as uh as tristan holmes he was uh the 10th overall pick and we drafted gunther sixth and then he's with byfield who's having a good year as well as ackers another first round pick for us and we've got marcus davidson reinhardt and cousins vertan and asplund and paul bittner on the fourth line on defense we've got Darlene, drysdale yoke haru bryson nurse and ristolainen and then in net, we've got Luka Pekka Lukin. And so uh, our team is stacked in the AHL. Uh, again, we are having just another really, really good year. Taking a look here, I don't believe there's anyone really like uh, that we, um, I don't want to say care about on offense, but uh, other than Baikov, who is a low elite, but he's 22 and only a 70 overall, so that one's going to take some time, as well as Tomas uh, uh, Nicholas. And then on defense, we do have a few guys as we've got uh, Matthias Trigg, who was a uh, second rounder a few years ago with um, Andre Boyle, a first that we had, and then Shane Cavanaugh, another drafted player that we took. So uh, things are looking good, uh, but again, this is all going to be predicated on how we do in the playoffs this year, as Eichel is the only point-per-game player right now. So we're going to go ahead, and we are going to actually just take one last look as I want to make sure that we're not... Wasting any contracts and whatnot as far as guys that are expiring. As uh, Let's take a look here. We'll search by overall. Gunther's on an expiring deal. That's going to be super expensive as he is a free agent. 87 overall right now. I can only imagine. Ristolainen and Nurse, they've got to go in the offseason. One of them at least. probably nurse and then as that deal just has not worked out the way i wanted it to to be honest with you then we've got reinhardt who's got a two-year deal a lot of these guys still left marcus davidson's gonna need a new contract as is johnson vertanen will be gone harry garjulo our first round pick from 2023 is an 81 already wow and then moving on down here but will be gone latunov yeah none of these guys are really all that impressive. Tage Thompson, we're not resigning him. His contract will come off the books. And yeah, just uh, that's not bad at all. Uh, in net, let's take a peek here. Is Ukapeka Lukin's deal almost up? It is. That's going to be expensive. But uh, we've got Lindbaum, who he's a medium starter. Uh, we'll see how they progress as we'll have to do some uh, some work there. So we are going to keep the team like this, and we're going to move on and see what we can do. Moving into this, I really want to win this division. Yeah, the thing about this sim is that the Leafs and Lightning are just powerhouses in it, and uh, avoiding them is just super key in the first round as they have eliminated us every single year. As we lose to the Leafs 7-0, of course, um, right on cue. As we got to put him back in the lineup. Uh, actually, how's Bryson been doing? I know. Put Ryan Johnson back in. All right. Uh, Stallion's already fine. We win against. Okay, a couple back to back wins, and we're still not in first. We have now given up first place in the division to the Lightning, and we're back in front. Two straight wins right there. Helps us out. Can we please beat the Leafs? We do. As now we're starting to pick up some wins again. We're losing to Carolina. As Johnson is hurt again. Okay. Central scouting. We'll take a look at the draft class real quick. As Nova Seltsev is uh, appears to be the best uh, available currently. As he's got a ton of points for an A-plus league. 
I would love another winger. Brendan West. Actually. He really fits the scheme well, too. So we've got a lot of uh, wingers are really where our depth needs to be as we have so many good centers, but can we beat the Devils? We do not. We're going to leave Borgen in there as we are still in first in the division by two points and we beat the Lightning. Okay, that might have been enough for the division as a 10 nothing win. Oh my goodness. And Yoki Haru is hurt. Not ideal. And of course, we are one point back of the Lightning for the division. We've locked up a playoff spot. Oh my goodness. Like, it's ridiculous, guys. <laughs> we just cannot get away. How close are we to. Okay, so 87 points. Zeichel seems to be the only one who had a point per game season. Well, sorry, we do have Pasternak who was hurt for a little while. Uh, We've got Drysdale, who is at 56 points in 79 games, but I don't think it's enough. We haven't really had anyone blow up the league. It's McDavid, Sagan, Drysdale, all top 100. And, yeah, look who is this. Alex Newhook. Okay. Lafreniere at 88, so Eichel's down here. What about in Goals. Turcotte and Paul Coles and are blowing it up. Holy smokes. On defense, let's take a look. It's Carlson again. And Drysdale is inside the top 10 now, at least. So that's not bad at all. And then in Nets, let's see who's going to win this. As it looks to be Swayman. Jeremy Swayman. Probably, we'll see. In terms of standings, yeah, we are one point back of winning the division for the first time. Our power play is doing well. Our PK is doing great. Like, this is just super frustrating. But, again, I would just love to not have to play. Like, we would play. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, we would play the Red Wings. So it's either we play the Leafs, who have almost the same amount of points as us, or we play the Red Wings. So this is uh, this is big. Let's see if uh, we'll do a slow sim here. So we've got three games left. See if we can't dominate and win the division finally. And we're up two nothing. We're still lined in an Eichel. They get two right back, and then we score three in the third. Asplund, Darlene, and Pasternak. So that's very good. As now we are at least going to have. Uh, let's see if they lost, though, as they probably control their, their fate. And they did, so they won. Uh, we need them to lose, and we'll see how it goes. So the Rangers have played pretty well so far. 6-3-1 in the last 10. And we are down 2-1 to them after 1. We score 2 back, though, as Ackers and Eichel gets on the board, making it 3-2. And we win 4-3 as Tristan Holmes buries the game winner. Okay, so again... We need the Lightning to lose a game. And they do. So it's all going to come down to this. Now, if we win, we guarantee the division. Finally. And potentially first overall. And we're up 2-1, to one, Eichel and Holmes. Two more Ristolina and Holmes, and it looks like we're fine. Holy smokes. Eichel, Byfield, Asplund, Wright, Vizhnevsky, and Gallagher, as there's just a ton of goals. We are finally going to win the Atlantic Division, the 107 points, and we're still not going to win the President's Trophy as it looks like the Blackhawks will, but we'll take a look at the, uh, at the season standings there. As we'll advance a day. Uh, Yoki Haru's back. All right, so that's a perfect timing. All right, so Ryan Johnson will go here. And Bryson will be replaced by Yuki Haru. We might have to move because his contract is kind of... Is Darnell Nurse... Wow, he was a real negative. I went straight down. Okay. 
So let's take a peek now. So we are going to play the Red Wings. So the playoff looks a little bit like this. First, let's take a look. 95 points for Eichel as he jumped up there. Tristan Holmes, who he signed to an RFA deal. He was a point-per-game player, as was Pasternak. Gunther is right behind him. Byfield. Again, Byfield has been... Dude, I had a comment. There was a comment. Someone that said, I don't understand why you're so married to Byfield. I don't know why either. Like, at this point, he just has not... Like, his rating is nuts, but he just has not performed. I cannot find the right combo for him, so we're going to have to look into that. As Ackers has another strong season um, with 30 goals. Cousins, again, another disappointing one. And then Reinhardt and Drysdale do pretty well. In terms of... Uh, let's take a look. Goal-wise, it looks like Alex Turcotte is going to win at the Rocket Richard. McDavid will win the Art Ross. So, let's take a look. Defenseman, probably Carlson again. As, yeah, Carlson absolutely carried the Sharks, which I wish he would do in real life. Strysdale had a strong season with 57 points. And as far as the Vesna goes, it looks like it's going to be Swayman. For sure, it looks like here. What about rookies? Do we don't really have anyone in this fight as Sebastian Bush. Where was he drafted? First round, 14th overall in 2021. So, Iro Niemi, Justin Pandelfo, Brennan Othman. We had a chance to draft him as well. Okay. So here is the playoff tree. Like I said, we are going to be taking on the Detroit Red Wings. And then finally, the Leafs and Lightning get to meet each other in the first round. Have at it, boys. As no matter what, we're going to play one of them in the second round, though. Washington and Carolina. And the Islanders and Pittsburgh. So not much has changed in terms of actual real-life playoffs in terms of last year in 2025. The Canucks and Coyotes. The Oilers and Sharks. Blackhawks and Wild, and then the Panthers, Panthers, Predators, and the Avalanche. And we'll look at the AHL. I'm assuming we are dominating the AHL. We are. Are we in first place overall? We are. HL squad has been fantastic. So uh, let's take a look at how the overalls match up for this series. We should be dominant. Although Detroit is nuts. Oh my goodness. All right. So they are almost damn near as good as us. Let's go take a look at their lineup as obviously they have turned things around. Um, very impressive there. As we view the lines, we'll go and see what the Detroit Red Wings look like. So Philip Zadina is now an 88 overall with Alex Kerfoot as their first line center and Andreas Janssen. So they just pillaged the Leafs essentially. Anthony Mantha is up to an 87. Dylan Olver who was a second or the second overall pick in 2022. And Andreas Athanasiu, who is now an Oiler. Bertuzzi is an 85. Jeremy Wilner, Wilmer was a first-rounder in 2021 with Joe Volano. And then Noel Gundler, another first-round pick in 2020. With Fabry, obviously another first-rounder there. And then they signed Casey Middlestad, as we did not bring him back, who is an 86 overall. On defense, they've got Dennis Shalowski, who's 87. And Moritz Sider, who is up to a... 90 overall. Philip Ronick's an 86. Pionk's an 82. And then Danny DeKaiser and Tyler Myers. Who do they have in net? Thatcher Demko, who's an 85 overall. Okay, so again, not terribly all that impressive when you consider how good our team is, but we have been brutal in the playoffs. The second round is as far as we've ever gotten. We do not have to play the Leafs or Lightning in the first round. Let's go. Let's win this series and do it quickly. As we're into the first period. And we're down 3 nothing. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, through 2. It is now 3-1. to one. Like, this team just is mentally incapable. Incapable, that's not a word. Incapable of performing even slightly to their potential in the playoffs. As I say that, Eichel gets one back, but we're probably going to fall by... Okay. Okay. All right. Big comeback here. We're into overtime. Here we go. And, of course. So, we lose an OT. 
as uh yeah davidson has a goal and an assist and we gave up four goals perfect so we're trailing one to nothing in the series to the eight seeded detroit red wings excellent excellent stuff as we'll go into game two I mean, at this point, if this does not happen next season, we got to make some substantial changes, whether it be coaching staff or something. As through one, it is three nothing. As Cousins, Eichel, and Gunther get on the board here, finally, five to one, we are dominating. We'll finish off the period, and we score another one and make it six to one. As the boys finally show up, as Byfield, Eichel, and Gunther, as well as Drysdale, all have two points. A really spread out affair. As Pekka and bounces back. It is now 1-1 one one in the series. As the AHL season is wrapping up. On to game number three. As there's no re reason to change after winning 6-1. to 1-1 one. One to one after 1 Zadina and Eichel. 2-1. Uh, as we go to the third period, down again. Tie it up with Eichel. Eichel has been a beast in the playoffs every single year, essentially. Shots are roughly the same. Can we score another one and avoid overtime? As the Red Wings look to hold on and take the lead back in this series. Come on, Sabres. About to hit the 30-shot plateau. All right, we're going over time for the second time in three games, and here we go. Ugh, 30 shots. Shots are dead even. No power plays. Power play for us. We can't end it. Eight minutes to go in the first overtime. Come on. We need this W. And there it is. As Yoki Haru. Let's go. Makes it 3-2. to two. And we're going to take the 2-1 to one lead. As Eichel again with two more goals. And Uka Pekalukinen does his job. As now Eichel has five goals in three games. As the AHL season is now over. We are going to be playing the Belleville Senators. Okay. <sighs> okay. Leading the series, 2-1. to one. Something that we don't usually do. Game number four, can we take a stranglehold on the series? Losing one to nothing as Kerfoot scores to make it one to nothing as we dominate shots. Through two, it is three to nothing. Oh my goodness. Three to one. Can we have another huge come? Oh my goodness, is the rookie... Okay, well, that was... A nice. It was good while it lasted. It was two goals in about a minute there. Got us within one in the third as we love to show up in the third period, but we do give one back. Okay. Nah. Okay, Bertuzzi scores. It's, that was getting a little insane. I don't know what... What is happening? We got within one goal three times in that third period. Oh my goodness, that's the second time he's getting... Alright, so Byfield has three points, Holmes with two. Uh, as it looks like they held Eichel off the boards here, or off the board here. As we're now tied 2-2 in the series. Come on. Game number five. As it's 3-1. to one. This is insanity. We cannot lose to this team, man. It's impossible to get out of the first round, guys. As it's 4-2, to two, and we're going to have to come back in the third period yet again. Cousins scores one. We've scored 15 goals in the third period in four games, but can we do it? No. they like We literally get within one, and then they just give up a goal. Power play for Detroit. Nothing happening as they are out shooting us. And, uh, no, that's going to do it. Well, they lead 3-2 in the series. My goodness, man. The Sabres are just snake bitten. Like, let's take a look at the lines here. Like he has six points. You know what? We'll see if the chemistry helps. Uh, 
How's Reinhardt done? Minus two, minus one. See, like, they haven't even done bad. What about... Holy smokes. Okay. Well, we're going to go down with this ship. And see if we can hold off elimination again and go to seven. As here we go, game six. We need to win this. And we're losing. So through a period, it is two to one for the Red Wings. And it's three to one. Elimination game. Reinhardt gets us within one. Can we com can we complete the comeback here? We do. Reinhardt scores again. Can he get one more? Forty two to thirty seven are the shots. Ugh. Here we go. Overtime, we need to win. Thank God they didn't score on that power play. And we do. Let's go. Byfield moving up to the first line. Oh, he's not, that was a power play goal. Completely okay with it. I don't even care. They did their job. Let's go. Reinhardt comes up huge in the third period. Forces the game seven. Oh, my goodness, dude. As we are winning in that series in the AHL. Oh my goodness. Alright, game seven. Can we get to the second round? Here we go. As this has just been a battle against the Red Wings. We're losing one to nothing as Olver scores. And it's three to nothing. We just can't score in any period that is in the third. We have 14 shots on goal in the third period. Like, this is crazy. As Detroit is just locking us down. And it's going to be too little, too late. And we're going to lose in the first round yet again. As we are shut out. Our 100 overall rating offense shut out in game seven. So at this point, I'm like at a loss for words. It's Toronto one, Carolina one, the Islanders one. Well, to the draft we go as we're gonna have to make changes and make our team worse because of contracts and whatnot. But oh my god, I have never been this frustrated playing a franchise mode, guys. As I think that we've done all of the correct things. We're going into year seven. I've seen the second round once. We've made the playoffs every single year except that first one. We've made big trades, free agent acquisitions. I mean, hell, we have David Pasternak. We've had Ovi. So the Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup yet again. Like, the Leafs will win the cup back to back and Florida will move up to number one. Anaheim and Vegas will round up the top threes. Ottawa gets shafted, moving to fourth. And here we go. So we take a look at the draft class one more time. Any of these any of those right wingers would be good. But we'll have to wait and see. As we take a look at the retired players now, as we're getting really deep in, is Ovechkin is finally done. He scored 951 goals. Malkin also hangs him up. Backstrom's gone, so a couple of Washington uh, goats. The Taves, who was with the Lightning, is gone, so they lose a decent piece. Couture, my boy, he's done as well. Wow, how old is he? 36. Pavelski at 40. He hits 900 points before hanging him up. Pacioretty's gone. Hornquist is gone. James Neal was a free agent. Broussard, Zuccarello as well. Shattenkirk. 
Lucic, Bozak, Muzzin. Wow, a lot of players as we are getting. Wow, the Sharks are losing a lot here. Is Vlasic's gone too? What about uh, in Nets? As flurry has gone, Quick's gone, Dubnik's gone, Varlamov. It's crazy to me that Varlamov is 300. Well, I guess we're seven years deep still, so. Reimer at age 37. I thought he was older. Dell as well. Okay, so. We're on to the draft as we lose to the Red Wings. As Ovechkin and Backstrom are now coaches. Taking a look at the coaches here. I think that we really need to take a long look at the coaching staff here. As this just is not working. As we take a look at the trade block. Lindblom we can move. Who else can we get rid of? Gunther, no. Ryan Johnson? Probably. We'll see. This he's on an expiring deal. Uh, well, well, a couple of rookies are ready to step in and same with Marcus. Marcus Davidson's an 85 overall now. Wow. Does he fit well? Coach satisfaction very high. Of course. Uh, Bryson, is he fit? It doesn't look to be anyone else. Asplund, we might get rid of at two mil. We'll take Tage Thompson out. Okay, so let's enter the draft and see what we can do here. As uh, yeah, we're looking for forwards again. Our defense is pretty set in stone again still. Um, as we take a look at the draft board, at the top, obviously, Nova Seltsev looks awesome. Oops, one second here. That's our draft board. Uh, Nova Seltsev looks awesome. As an A-plus in the or competition in Russia, almost a point per game. He's going to go first overall, probably. I would love to have him, but that's not going to happen. Brandon West is a centerman. Uh, this blew up bad comp. Well, he had 90 points. Bad competition. He is NHL ready as well. Luke Riley. 60, 100 point season for him. As he would look great as well. And Victor Mickelson. Had 60 points in 70 games. There's not a lot of point production there. He's NHL ready. A lot of NHL ready players in this draft. Let in. Grafalski. Moses Grafalski. Mason Tyrell. Two years out. Any other gems down here? Well, let's see what we've got in terms of picks. Offer trade for this pick. Obviously, we're not going to get first overall, but let's just see what picks we have. I don't think we have anything other than our own. We don't even have a first this season. I forgot. We traded... Okay, so we traded our first couple round picks for um, Tristan Holmes, so whew, we're going to have to make some moves if we even want to get anyone. As this draft, we're going to take a hit. Pasternak, like these are all great players that we're not moving. Pasternak to 94, Darlene, Holmes, Drysdale, like Ristolainen, we should... Oh, nurse, we should move. We should move Darnell Nurse. Who do we have on defense, so it's going to replace him? So, Darlene and Drysdale. Ristolainen still there. Okay, how are you? Bryson and Johnson. Oh, Andre Boyle might be able to step in as well. Yeah, it's time to get rid of Nurse. He just has not worked out. Um, let's see if we can get a first rounder. Legs of this. See how many... We're not going to get this one. I don't believe. No, there's no way. So we'll sim that pick, and that's going to be Nova Celso. Just a medium elite 83 overall right out of the box. Wiz Newski's an 81 center. Medium elites. Brad West is a 79. Or sorry, Brendan West is a 79 overall medium elite. So what's left? 
because now we can see if these guys are even close as Luke Riley is NHL ready left winger either of these guys would be great Victor Mickelson or Luke Riley okay um trade for pick is how much is that going to cost me is it's roughly close wow we need a skater back though i don't want to take on the mesnikov who is this jack sackick <laughs> let's go jack sackick Cedarquist. Ottawa would be over the cap by quite a bit. Of course they would. Okay, let's take on a deal. We need something that's cost five million roughly to make this deal work. Tanner Pearson is three years left. Eric Branstrom would be dope, but five million for Schwartz. I doubt this works, but Wow, okay, so that worked, and we're going to be able to make a pick for one of these wingers. So now we get to decide whether we're going to do Derek McDonald, who I doubt it. Luke Riley, I think, is the play here. He's NHL ready. Victor Mickelson, worst competition. So we are going to go Luke Riley. And he is a 79 overall medium elite. So we've got yet another good yet another good pick. Okay, so I really don't think we're going to be able to get him. We'll go to the next round. Actually, let's, and then let's take a look at the round. Does anyone get any uh, any gems here? Uh, Silver Guard. We're looking for elites. Any elites? Oh, medium elite for Alice Chuck. 62 overall. Mickelson was a 70 over nine, two way forward medium elite. So same kind of thing. Um, let's take a look at the draft class. See if there's anything available here that we're looking for as Jalmerson. Oh, wow. Billy Fitzpatrick. Hmm. He looks good. Gage Smith Pelly. Hmm. Who are you? Stuart Stortini. Literally had no points in 28 games. Five years away. Huh. Okay, let's see if they take him right here, though. Jalmerson. Uh, Billy Fitzpatrick. Let's offer a trade here. Can we trade a collection of picks for these two? I doubt it, because all we've got right now is draft picks. These guys, and they're just not going to take these. <laughs> Five picks here. Actually, we can remove this one probably. Nope. Okay, you really want that seventh? Come on, accept it with the seventh. You got it, kid. That's not going to do it. Next year's fourth, maybe. No, they will not take this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so hopefully they don't take it. Uh, they don't take them. Okay, let's try and trade here. Same situation. Can we get him? I mean, you want my draft class next year? Sure. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Three fourths, fifth, and a second. Nope. Okay, so these guys are just dead set on getting this guy. 
And he was a 66 overall low elite. Okay, so we'll send him to our next pick. Has, uh, yeah, we just didn't have the picks for it because we signed Tristan Holmes there. But that's fine. Theo Stanton. Uh, no, bad. Nathaniel Gilroy. He's probably the best option. I would like to see what Stortini becomes. Like, just as he is an elite player. Hmm. So we've got a, our options are go Stortini or we go Nathaniel Gilroy. Who is a big defenseman. How far away is he? Four years. 17 years old. And Sortini is what? Five years at 18. Okay, you know what? We have two fours. So let's see if we can get them both. So we'll go Nathaniel Gilroy. See what we end up with. That's ugly. Okay. Oh, and we have back-to-back -back picks here. Okay, that was ugly. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay, uh, yeah, that's bad stat output for him there. We'll go Stortini, actually, how is, yeah, we'll go Stortini, and he's gonna be really low, but whatever. 49 overall medium top six. <laughs> Those Hail Mary picks. Let's go here, as these guys are really just not gonna become anything, so... This late, Dmitry Samsonov, one goal, three years out of nineteen. Fontanos, nothing here. Philip Conley, uh, oh, there we go. Nikita Semenov. He's terrible skating, and he's a. <laughs> Five years out at 20 years old, probably not going to become anything. Liam Olas. We'll go with Liam Olas. So he's a low top six, 59 overall. Make our pick in the sixth round. What do we got left here? Uh, Dimitri Samsov's not going to become anything. Nikita Semenov is not. George Smaby. Bad offensive output. Vyacheslav Fedorov. Sure, why not, man? As he is a seventh over, or set medium seventh, uh, 50 overall. So we're into the seventh round now. We're making our Hail Marys. They've all been, this has been a pretty rough draft class so far. As an AHL top six. Actually, is there any elites? We're going to go with Dmitry Samsonov. And he's a medium bottom six. Huh, in the sixth round, that's not terrible. Oh, uh, whoops. All right, so that's going to do it. We got our guy fourth overall by trading Nurse. We had to get rid of him as Luke Riley looks dope off the off the hop. As the Island Vegas trades the first, or sorry, the Islanders go with a first fry, follow, and Zadorov. Good trade there, honestly. Second and second for Sharnak. A lot of trades. And we'll go to the resign phase. As this is gonna be ugly. As our uh, coaches, like I feel like we should just fire everyone. Like, do we just clean house? Like, like. Overall morale, best player, like, he's got a 62%, and he's won the Jack Adams. Stortini. Uh, we'll fire these guys. Uh, 
There's just no one has done good enough. Um, okay, these guys all need to be resigned, but we're going to take a look at them and see if there's anyone new available. Let's go to, uh, oh my god, dude, this is going to be disgusting. First, let's look at our coaching staff. Oops. Man, I'm just, I don't know what we're going to do there. Okay, let's see how bad this is going to be at. So Dylan Gunther, how much cap space do we have? We have 15 mil in cap space. Dylan Gunther wants to be resigned. $9 million. Tough. Tough beans. His Ackers is still an 88 overall. Uh. David's is an 86. How much does he want? Starting 85. He only wants 3 million. Like, that's a much more reasonable deal. Jaden Schwartz, he's gone. We we just got him in a deal. We'll get rid of him. Release him. Johnson wants 2.2. .2. Asplund wants 1.9. That's not a bad deal for him. Garjulo is now. We need to resign. Actually, was he a first round for us? Yes, he was. So we can sign him. Tage Thompson, you're gone. Unless you want bottom barrel. Hmm. Does he fit in more? I don't know what I want to do there. A lot of AHLers. What about net? What is what is Lucan and want? Ugh. Okay. Do we just? We got a lot of options and things to decide, guys. So, number one is: Do we bring back Gunther? Davidson as well. We've got fifteen million. Like, essentially, we could bring back... If Riley jumps up to play left wing, who would be on there? Let's take a look. So, center or forward group-wise, it's Pasternak on the first line right wing, Eichel, first line center, Holmes, first line left wing. Second line would be Ackers, Byfield, and Gunther again. Third line would be Reinhardt, David's hit at Cousins. No, Reinhardt. No, okay, so David's would be on the left wing. So Garjulo would go on the left wing there to replace Davidson. So obviously a little bit of a hit overall there. So it's what is he? He's a power forward. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. And then the fourth line would be if Asplund. Asplund wants how much? Two mil or a mil? He wants two mil. Or we can go with. Hmm. Riley could go to the left wing. But for Tan, how much does Vertanen want? Bottom barrel. Okay. And then in terms of our draft picks and whatnot, Downing is a low elite. What was he drafted? Second round? 69 overall. We gotta sign him to a deal. So he's not really progressing. What did Bikeop become? He's still a 70 overall. Okay. Alright, so we're going to leave it there, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Yet another disappointing year in the playoffs. Um, I think that we need to get rid of the coaching staff entirely and potentially build it to someone that is just... I, I don't know. I mean, it's very frustrating because I feel, I feel like this team offensively is just an absolute beast. Um, but defensively too, I feel like we're well-rounded, but 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And please subscribe if you have not. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for the next Buffalo Sabres video. Have a good one, guys.